The International Atomic Energy Agency, the IAEA, has a new report on the Iranian nuclear program forwarded to the members of the UN Security Council. An IAEA spokesperson confirmed to the Rio News that the report, which will only be made public in early June, was leaked by the website of the Institute for Science and International Security, ISIS. There's been a lot of spinning by US corporate media. According to the New York Times, the report is unusually blunt and detailed. US media is virtually unanimous saying that Iran has not come clean on, I quote, high explosives testing. An AP report quotes the usual unnamed US official blaming Iran. At least the Los Angeles Times said the report, I quote, finds no proof of a continued nuclear arms program. Iranian press TV, on the other hand, stressed the IAEA has not detected the use of nuclear material linked to Iran's alleged studies of weaponization. This is the key link in the report. The alleged studies on the Green Salt project, high explosives testing, and the missile re-entry vehicle project remain a matter of serious concern. Clarification of these is critical to an assessment of the nature of Iran's past and present nuclear program. Iran has agreed to address the alleged studies. However, it maintains that all the allegations are baseless and that the data have been fabricated. Then the report goes on to say, it should be emphasized, however, that the agency has not detected the actual use of nuclear material in connection with the alleged studies. After a similar report two months ago, the UN Security Council, pressed by the US, imposed new sanctions on Iran. These waves of sanctions are biting really, really hard, especially the country's business community. But now, Javier Solana, the European Union defense chief, he says he has a new European package to offer Iran if they stop nuclear enrichment. The convergence of interests of Western Europe and Iran is very, very significant in terms of finding a peaceful solution for this crisis. Iran, they need European investment in its oil and gas industry, and Europe needs Iran's gas to counterbalance its dependence on Russian gas. So that's what the Iranian press is stressing, that the report says Iran has basically come clean, and I quote, Iran has agreed to address the alleged studies, these studies on explosives and missile testing. This uh, latest report comes a week after the IAEA chief, Mohammed al baradai said at the World Economic Forum in the Middle East that there is no, I quote, concrete evidence that Iran is developing a nuclear bomb. And last December, as everybody remembers, a national intelligence estimate in the US conceded with, I quote, high confidence that Iran does not have a nuclear weapons program. But uh, whatever the spinning in Washington and Tehran, one thing is certain. None of this will matter to the Dick Cheney war faction and the neocons in Washington.